Hello? I'm on this channel. It's me. It's your reviews. Hey, who? H U G H. How's it? How are you hanging, guys? How are things? It's me. I bet. I bet you're glad to see me instead of that bloody long haired ginger kid with his 38 minute videos. What's that about? We're gonna do a simple task today. Simple, simple. We're gonna rank the Beatles albums. Now you may have seen my my Hughes Hedden videos where I did like I ranked every song, but screw that! See that series is, is over, so we're gonna rank every Beatles album. And that's it. If you're wondering why my hair looks like Prince Charming, gone black, I got a shower, put on a hat, and now it's just like this. And I couldn't be asked to change it. And I really need a haircut anyway. Let's go! Number 13, there's 13 albums, right? 13! Yellow Submarine. It, it's a soundtrack. It's four new songs, the rest George R. R. Mar George R. R. Martin. What? <laughs> Not Game of Thrones. George Martin instrumentals, you know, it's alright, it's in there. Number 12, Beatles for Sale. It's, it's possible, it's, it's, it's a fine list and it's just a bit, uh, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's alright, it, 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 it's pretty good. With the Beatles is next. It's just like, please please me, but a bit worse. Not as good, not, not as good songs, but you got some highlights. You know, on that, here and there. And then we've got Please Please Me. Good listen, good starting track. Ooh, straight into the Beatles. We dive into their stuff. It's a, it's a great starting album. Fantastic listen. That's number 11. A Hard Day's Night. Pretty good. Some songs aren't great. Some songs are fantastic. It's pretty good. It's a blue. It's blue. It's blue. Up next is. Don't know, don't know, what's next? Help! Is next, help, help, pretty good, pretty good. Got, got songs like Yesterday, I just saw a face. And you got stuff, stuff, so much stuff. That's just two songs, but you get the picture. Pretty good, pretty good. Some people put this pretty high, some people put it pretty low. I'm putting it in the middle. It's starting to transition into their greatness. That's how I see it, especially in the next album which is number, don't even know anymore, Rubber Soul. Rubber, it's rubber. <laughs> Maybe some people will have this higher. Some of the songs are a bit weak, like the closing track, and some of them are a bit eh. But great songs, great in my life. In my bloody life. I like the George Harrison tracks a lot, too. Wow. <laughs> Gotta give him a clap for that stretched album cover. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh. Up next. As I spin around, is what is next? Oh, it's Revolver. Controversial. I like it quite a bit. Some songs are a bit. Uh, uh. Yellow Submarine. Uh, uh. Doctor Robert. Uh, uh. Andy Bird can sing. <laughs> okay, you may like them. I just think they're a bit of a like it goes down in quality. But overall, great. And ends with tomorrow never knows. So you know, it's fantastic, but not in my top. Five, I think. I think we're in the top five now. Number five, Magical Mystery Tour. Some people put it pretty low because it's kind of like a compilation type of thing. But it's great. You got great songs on there, man. Strawberry Fields is on there, man. And all you need is love. Fool on the Hill. I am the Walrus. It's a great album. How would you put it so low when you got such great songs, man? <laughs> I don't get it. Number four, the most controversial pick, I think. Let it be. Say what? Yes, let it be. Because it's just great. I don't get the backlash. Okay, maybe it's not like a traditional Beatles album. It's kind of raw. It's kind of rough. But I like when they're back together. They're singing. John and Paul singing together. Like the old days. I've got a feeling. Two of us. I wish Don't Let Me Down was on there. But that's probably the only downside. Yes, you've got Maggie May and Dig It. But they're just good, cool little bits of the album. Great. Thanks, Phil Spector, you wife murderer. Number three, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I would have probably put this number one a couple of years ago, but it overplayed, yeah. Uh, it's great, it's great, but it's been overplayed to death. 
and that's probably why it's number three. But damn, what an album. What a bloody album, man! Number two. The White Boy. The one that's white. The one without a cover. The White Album. There's so many songs and I love the variety. Yes, you got Revolution 9, but it adds a little bit to it. Yes, you got some mm, weaker tracks, but it all adds up into this great, huge album. Damn, the styles, the variety. God, we gotta love the Beatles. Number one. That just leaves one album. Pet sounds. Number one is actually Abbey Road. Abbey Bloody Road. Wow. What an album. The way it closes, the way it opens, the tracks. Boom. Medley. How? How did they do it? It's such a cl great closing album. One of the, probably the second best album of all time. Maybe the first. I'd probably put it tight. It's, it's either that or All Things Must Pass by George Harrison. That's how I see it. What a bloody great album. And that's been my ranking. I hope you, hope you enjoyed this. You probably completely disagree. Tell me your ranking down in the comment section below. Please let me know. And if you want to see more videos from Hugh, Hugh, Hugh Man, the Hugh, on this channel, let me know. But if you want to see more videos in general, make sure you check out my channel, which I post a hell of a lot more on, called Hugh Reviews. Here's the thing, it's going to come up in a sec. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you check out my videos. Please. <laughs> Please do it. <laughs> I need subscribers. I actually do because I did this uh, Britain vs. America thing. It's pretty good. Check it out. Now I'm just promoting myself pretty heavily. But do do it. I'm going to walk away now. Hope you've enjoyed. Goodbye. <laughs>